All right, this is how to read a resistor. We'll start out with this resistor here. Let's see if I can explain this. All right, um, the the colors. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's brown, black, brown, gold. And to know which end to start from, uh, on one of the ends, it'll either be silver or gold. And that'll be the last one that you want to read. Um, that's your tolerance. But we'll go with the first three, and we'll figure out the size of the resistor. Um, so the first band is brown. So you come on the chart, first band, brown, one. Second band uh, is black, so that's zero. So you have your your base number to start out with, which is 10. And then your third band will be a multiplier, which is also brown. And that'll be 10. And you basically you take 10, multiply it by 10. It's pretty easy, 100 ohm resistor. And the last band is your tolerance. You come down to gold, it's five, plus or minus 5%. And basically, 5% of 100 is 5. So you get your range from that, which is 90, between 95 and 105. And um, if it's between 95 and 105 when you read it, it's a good resistor. But if it reads out of that range, then out of the tolerance range, bad resistor. <coughs> All right. And you can check it by reading it on on a DDM or DMM. Sorry. Alright, and to do it, you just go to your resistance portion of your uh, DMM, and in this instance, we know that it's going to be in the 100 range, and so it's set to that, and then you take it, and you hook it up to both of your leads. It doesn't matter which end you hook it up to, because resistors don't have a polarity. There's no positive or negative on a resistor. And right here, 100 is it ohms. <laughs> it's reading 100 ohms. So it's, it's perfect. The resistor. Um, and the last part of the reading of the resistor is actual physical size, how big it is. And in this case, it's pretty small. It's probably about a half watt, I don't know for sure, but these ones I do know for sure. Um, Alright, these honking ones right here, these are two watt resistors, and this is a one watt resistor, and these are all one watt, one watt resistors. Um, and you, you can uh, find a chart somewhere online to figure that out for sure, but that's something that I don't have with me, but that's how we're to read a resistor.